Alien vs. Predator from 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here to the Alien vs. Predator series. Y'all know if you've been watching my journey through these Alien and Predator movies, you guys know. Obviously, I started all the way with Alien. The first one went through all those, went to the Predator movies, went through all those. And now we are here to Alien vs. Predator, man. And I've been excited for this ever since I started the first Alien movie, man. I've never seen these before, obviously. I don't know what to expect going into them. You know, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know, man. Like, obviously, this is made in 2004, so it's newer than some of the old, some of the older Alien movies. You know, obviously, Prometheus and Alien Covenant are newer, but the, the other Alien movies, I'm pretty sure all those were older than 2004. And then Predators and The Predator was uh newer than 2004 but all the other predator movies were older so this is gonna be very interesting man i don't know what part of the timeline we're necessarily in uh in the alien timeline and in the predator timeline because obviously i just finished the predator uh i just finished the predator from 2018 and that introduced a lot more kind of lure on the predators and stuff like that i don't think we're at that point in this timeline i think we're um back quite a bit further man so i'm in, obviously i'm not expecting some of the tech that they have in the newer predator movies to have it in this and stuff like that but as far as the alien goes man i feel like it's been a minute since i seen you know an alien you know obviously i've been checking out the predator movies it was four so it's been literally uh, probably a bit over a month since i've checked out anything related to aliens and i'm super excited for it man the alien movies just had this special feel to them that I just haven't got the same feeling from any other movie you know i've gotten something close with the predator but not exactly man so i'm kind of excited to see how it's going to be when these two movies come together i'm trying to think in my head of crossover movies i've seen obviously i recently watched uh kong vs godzilla i personally enjoyed it there was bits that were kind of eh to me you know but for the most part i enjoyed it but other than that i don't think i've really checked out too many crossover movies i haven't seen like freddy vs jason or anything like that you know so I think this may be one of the first crossover movies I watch aside from, you know, Kong vs. Godzilla. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see how they do with it. I'm excited to see who wins. I I don't know. I feel like the Predator should win. But we all know, you know, the alien. Dude, alien's fucking versatile. Blood made of acid and shit like that. But the Predator was made for this shit. So I'm kind of interested to see who's going to win. I'm rooting for the Predator. I want to see the Predator win. I want to see how they're going to set this up and how they're going to kind of you know how they're gonna introduce introduce the two characters in this movie you know what setting they're gonna be in and everything like that and i think in the movie um predators which is obviously done in 2010 this was done in 2004 i think i remember seeing an alien skull on the in the background on one of the predators like trophy walls so i'm curious if that's kind of like a you know if that kind of means the predator's gonna fuck him up or if that was completely unrelated to this movie it'd be kind of cool to see if that did connect some way somehow or not but i'm running my mouth too much guys i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do i said if you guys are on the new channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below you guys want to see the next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below also by the time you guys are watching this i did open a p.o box check the description down below for the address if you guys want to send me anything i'm gonna be doing the uh p.o box openings live on my twitch and then editing them and uploading them to youtube so if you guys want to send me something look in the description down below the address is there it'd be very nice fan art letters whatever you want to send i'd appreciate it but guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie da, 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 da. i also think this is the um extended edition of this movie i'm pretty sure because i think the regular one was an hour and 40 minutes damn near on the dot this one is a little bit longer so i think this is the extended edition slash version sometimes people ask that putting that out there for anybody that wants to know antarctica 1904 okay gotta write these dates down because sometimes they, there's a time jump and i don't realize it <laughs> god are we starting out already this is what I'm going to love about this. I don't know if it's Alien or the Predator chasing him, man. All oh, those clicks. I haven't heard those clicks in a minute, it seems like, bro. Jeez. I know it's only been like a week since I watched the last Predator movie, but still. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize the Alien was right there, man. See, this is what I'm going to love, bro. This is what I'm going to love. Mm. 
It's interesting, man. I'm curious if they're going to spend most of the movie building it up or if right there we got him off rip. So maybe this whole movie will just be action and fighting. Maybe not. People kept saying that, you know, this one was rated PG-13. So there's going to be a lot less blood and stuff. Obviously, the Alien and Predator movies, all those were rated R. But, you know, I don't mind. It doesn't need a ton of gore and blood to be good. The data stream from PS-12. Where is she? Right above Sector 14. There isn't anything in Sector 14. There is now. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be a problem. <sighs> Took me a week to get back to the world. Yes, I told Mr. Wade of that. He said he didn't have a <laughs> Motherfucker said, let me pull up and pick you up real quick. <laughs> you tell me you didn't see no helicopter fly over you or land up there at any point? <laughs> We're having a lot of jumps to different places and areas. I like this, you know? Sometimes when a movie stays in one spot, it's cool, but it's also nice to have a bunch of different uh, changes in setting. <laughs> Pepsi Cola. Would you mind just taking a picture? Like, just sure. want to show them that their dad wasn't always so boring. Smile. Okay. <laughs> How should I pose? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, fuck, I'm moving way too much. I'm a chemical engineer. Alexa Woods, environmental technician and guide. The PSR is the point of safe return. It means we've used up half our fuel so we can't turn back. Hmm. Right. Motherfucker thought it was some type of landmark or something. <laughs> this might be the first pyramid ever built. Hmm. But built by whom? By the first civilization. And I think I speak for everyone aboard this ship. This is worth the risk. I mean, this is a major discovery. I'm sure everybody in here wants to be a part of it. This is like have your name written in history book type shit. I don't understand your objections, Miss Woods. We're not asking you to take us up Everest. We need you to take us from the ship to the pyramid and then back to the ship. That's it. You're making a mistake. She's gonna go with them 100%, man. No way. <laughs> She's not gonna. They really replaced her that quick. You know what I mean? They really said, fuck it. Do we stand a better chance of surviving with you or with a number two choice? little guilt trip for i don't know uh, if like at this point i i think i would just want to be a part of it even if i even if there's a high chance i'm gonna die man this is like history in the making you know what i mean that'd be some crazy shit the fuck was that some type of beam they just shot down to it unexpected things are gonna happen when they do no one tries to be a hero Understood that first rule is getting broken right away guarantee nobody I guarantee somebody is breaking off Good. Man, I mean if we're keeping in line with the alien and predator movies this entire group of people's dying except for one person mm. Oh, this is the the town from the start from uh, 1904, huh where the alien and the predator were at I don't know. I'm glad as I'm just really glad I started these this the alien series because it led to all of this. You know, I'm gonna be sad when it's over. Okay, guys, let's move out. I don't even want to write down the names of all the like side characters because I feel like they're just gonna die. You know what I mean? So there's some mysterious pyramid under here. People, the entire town, you know, workers here went missing, never solved. Y'all aren't like. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> Lex. No Fucking one hell. Anywhere alone. There's something that listen. Probably a rat. Penguin. <laughs> is it a tunnel all the way down? Oh, is that what that beam of light that got shot shot down was? It's turned at a perfect 30 degree angle. Well, the only way we're going to know for sure is to get down there and find out. Dude, that thing is literally a perfect cut. Like, that's scary. I'd be terrified. <laughs> Look at them. They're getting ready, man. Jesus. Dude, I love the... F I say it every movie, and I'm going to continue to say it every fucking movie. I love the look of the Predator. Badass as hell. One of my favorite character designs, I think, ever. Are those little uh, pods with predators in it? What? How many shot out? Three? Three predators then?
Let the games begin. Those clicks, man. Jesus. There it is, man. It's a lot smaller in person. <laughs> This would be amazing to explore, though. Something like this in real life. You know, like a cave, a pyramid, abandoned ghost town, shit like that. I'd love to do that at some point. Oh my god, I was about to say booby traps, man. I think it was like booby trap to trigger this and awaken it whenever somebody's in here. Motherfucker's literally prisoner was frozen this whole time. Looks like a queen, too. Motherfucker, you dead, bruh. Jesus, just like back in 1904. It's just so easy for the predator, man. Dude doesn't even break a sweat. So P man, just the invisibility. You exposed me! He looks a little bit beefier than some of the other predators we've seen, man. Damn. Looks more like a juggernaut type predator. Yeah, there he goes down there, man. You better warn them. Jesus, bro. Oh my god. Dude, these predators look beefy, man. They look like they need to go on a, like, no offense, but like they look like they need to go on a diet, to say the least, man. What is all this? Jesus. This is the sacrificial chamber. This would be pretty terrifying to see, but it'd also be pretty fucking cool, man. Those that were chosen would lie here. They weren't bound or tied in any way. It's incredible. The entire skull and spinal columns removed in one piece. Predator be ripping him out, skull and spine, nice and clean. Oh my god, is that a face hugger? It is. I hope that motherfucker's dead. Has been dead a while. Yeah, thank god. Bones have completely calcified. It looks like the bones were bent straight out. Yep. Must have had a face hugger inside of him. Something broke out of this body. Yep. Alien. I don't know, man. I think the alien still takes it for creepiest, like, creep me out design and stuff, you know? I'm trying to think of, like, other movies or other things, but even for being old, man, the alien has to take the cake, man. Take a look at this. I can't see, bitch. It's too much mist. It was like the Predator's weapons, no? Maybe it was opened in 1904 and they put them there? Or maybe somebody opened it in 1904 to try and kill the Predators? No! No! Don't touch them! Booby traps. The hunt begins! Damn. Watch out! The doors! They're like, what the fuck did they do? Idiot, you really thought that was gonna stop that. Sacrificial chamber. Y'all about to get sacrificed, bitch! Oh my god, dude. I would be screaming. Jesus. That motherfucker got her right on the face, dude. All those bitches jumped out and hit their target. Can you hear me? Come in, Rousseau. Rousseau! Tell me, come in. There he is, man. Oh my god. That quick. Swooped up that quick. Jesus! This is so weird because obviously in like Kong vs. Godzilla, we've seen them kind of take sides to kind of essentially protect the humans, at least Kong anyway. Godzilla was just on his shit. And this, I'm kind of interested to see if, because I don't feel like the Predator or the alien would help the humans. Damn. Everybody's getting split the fuck up. Divide and conquer, man. <laughs> Jesus, there's that slime from the alien. 
NFTs, man. I don't know, dude. I think I might have just ate a bullet at that point. Oh, that's where he, that's where old boy died. That alien slime. Oh, bro, I'm not touching that shit. What a piece of me? You ugly son of a bitch! God damn. Homeboy said, don't be talking about my boy like that. <laughs> shit. Damn, that net. That net. That sucks, dude. That shit's gonna tighten and fucking kill him. Nothing's cutting that. Oh my god. Big bitch is just rolling up on him. Hey, homeboy tried to punch him in the gut. Ooh. Yes, sir. The hunt begins. Oh my god, dude. Sheesh. Damn, man. I don't know. I, I thought the Predators would just fuck these things up, but the Alien is fucking insane, too. Xenomorphs, man, they're crazy. Damn. This is badass, man. I love this. Ooh. It's that acid, though, man, too. That's what makes it hard for them. Because they can't just run up and stab it, really. <laughs> Yo! God damn! Okay! Go off, big man! Damn, he got him. He got him. I mean, he can still break out because he got that acid blood, but fuck. Damn, it's tightening. Yeah, he didn't expect him to break out the net. Damn! Yo! Damn, alien is two for two, man! Yeah, I. Oh my god, are they gonna get separated? Oh my god, dude, there's no way he's dead. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. There ain't no chance in hell, bro. Fuck that. Oh my god, the face hugger. What happens when the face hugger goes on to a uh, predator? Isn't there a xenomorph right there? Yeah. This is the last predator in here, man. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Another face hugger and his mask is off. Arch nemesis is... Damn. His mask is off. I wonder what happens, though, if a face hugger goes on a predator. Imagine what kind of fucking alien comes out of that. Oh, my God. It's the alien. God damn. <laughs> Jesus, that's actually a pretty big jump. I was going to say that didn't even look like a big jump, but it's a pretty big jump. You know, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if she died. They kill everybody in these fucking movies every time. God damn, man. It doesn't get closer than that. Jesus. God, dude, everybody's getting taken. I thought he would survive too. Wait, wait, this way. He's like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Damn, man. She's gonna have to help him. Woo! Yo, she somehow kills this thing completely. The predator might even respect her. She might earn the predator's respect after that. Oh my god. Look at that. It doesn't get closer than that. Bitch, you already played dead once. That ain't gonna work again. Tap, tap. Better hit him in the head. <laughs> Look at that. Armed now. Oh my god, dude. There's so fucking many of them. Jesus. They running now. Now that he's armed, shit. She sees, he sees that she killed one, I bet. A little bit of respect. It's so interesting seeing them team up together, man. Again, just like before, he literally made her weapons. Got a fucking shield, he <laughs> got a little spear. 
I mean, the history they told is pretty cool. I've been asking for some Predator lure. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool seeing they helped aliens. Look at that bitch, man. The queen is just so... Oh, my God. Big ass head and everything. Motherfucker is giant. Look at this bitch. Causing havoc in here, man. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know. I don't know if this Predator's going to be able to take her out. I'm a little bit scared. God, face huggers in them all. Mm, okay, he's gonna leave it. See, I love how they can, he can try is trying to communicate. You know what I mean? Seeing them run next to each other and shit. I love this, man. That 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 bomb is literally gonna take this whole place down. I feel like. How the fuck did they get out so quick? I mean, I guess they had been trying to get out this entire movie. But they could have been close. No, I don't want the Predator to die. He lost his gun. Damn, that motherfucker is dead. Damn. Oh, one got on. That whole pyramid's gone. One alien's coming up with those motherfuckers. Or at least it was. Oh, man. The ice. God, man. Oh, I fucking love it. I don't care. Some of this shit is cheesy. People are going to say that. Some of this shit's stupid. I don't give a fuck. I love it. I like, can, can you do it like on my arm or something at least? I mean, shit. He, she earned his respect. Like, can you imagine telling this story? I got marked by a predator. God, the queen. I forgot about the queen. Oh, my lord. He doesn't have his gun either, and his mask is off. Fuck. Look at how big this bitch is compared to them. I didn't realize the sheer size of this motherfucker. This is crazy, too. Like, he's not just taking out a xenomorph. He better earn way more than... Oh, my God. Than just his stripes. He's taking out a queen. Damn. I'd be worried about that shit falling on me, man. God damn, look at him! Oh my god, that was a badass shot. Woo! I'm I'm so much more hurt that the predator died than any other person in this fucking movie. I'm so hurt. Look at him. I don't think the predator survives that. Maybe. But I don't think so. That bitch getting dragged in the ice, I mean. Who's to say that's not just going to freeze it forever? You know what I mean? Like, maybe it won't die. Maybe it'll just be frozen. But at least take a picture, man. A selfie. Something. Shit. Look, like, look at this fucking specimen, bro. Wow. they just been there the whole time. Jesus, there's so fucking many of them. Well, I mean, I guess this was their trials, right? So they probably were watching this whole time, obviously. It makes sense. He sees that she's marked. It makes sense, you know what I mean? Respect. She got she got the predator's respect, man. I mean, she helped take one she she killed a xenomorph herself. She helped take down the queen. And she got marked. That's badass, man. That's gotta be head predator right there, right? It's gotta be head bitch. Those predators were thick though, that came down, were doing their trials. Those predators were thick boys. Okay, but now how the fuck does she get out of here? I mean, I know there's a helicopter here, but she definitely don't know how to pilot. <laughs> Predators are like, we'll be back in a little bit again to run another trial. A fucking Xenomorph Predator. Do you see his fucking mouth, bro? It was literally just like the fucking Predators. Okay, that has to be what the second one's about, right? For Alien vs. Predator from 2004. Holy shit, man. I, I, I gotta say it again. Every reaction you watch from me in this series, I think I've said it and I'm going to say it again. I fucking love, love, love this universe and I love the Predator's character design, man. I, I'm not trying to like, you know, no, no, like, no, I'm not saying like the Xenomorph is shit or anything. The Xenomorph is fucking amazing in its own right, but it's like the Xenomorph is like terrifying amazing. The Predator is like, God damn type amazing you know what i mean like holy shit that's a dope design in my opinion i love the care the, the predator's design he's gotta be 
probably my favorite movie character design ever that i've seen thus far i would say like he's just it's so badass man i love the way the fucking facial structure design the everything you know what i mean whether it's with the mask or without it i think it looks badass as fuck in my opinion but at the end there we talked about it throughout the movie what the fuck would happen if a face hugger went on to a predator now i'm assuming when he was fighting the queen maybe she somehow you know we're supposed to assume she somehow injected injected one into him you know what i mean and then obviously it came out at the end there and it wasn't the same as a regular one you know that attaches to a human and comes out because obviously those are just normal they just have the regular alien face just the jaw opening up and that's it this one was like that but it also had the predator mouth like this is clearly different and I, i'm assuming this has to continue on in the second one i know there is a second alien vs predator movie I don't, there's not a third i don't know if they plan to make a third or what but um i'm curious as to how this thing is gonna look when it's supposed to be older or grows you know it's so badass and i fucking love it dude i just love the alien and predator universe i'm so glad i started these movies man and like i said i'm gonna continue after i finish you know alien vs predator the second one because i don't want any spoilers i'm probably gonna look up stuff about you know the predator and stuff to figure out more about it because i'm sure there's more information out there just not included in the movies i don't know if it'll be canon or, or not but i'm gonna try and find you know all the correct information because i want to know more about the predator the lure the backstory obviously in this one we got a lot which i've been asking for you know the predators were here way back when and humans worshipped them they taught them how to build and everything like that build the pyramids which is kind of funny because you know some people think the pyramids built today were built by aliens or aliens helped us build them and stuff like that you know and we worship them as gods and stuff and then the sacrificial chamber obviously to kind of you know the humans would go there to have a face hugger put on them turn into a xenomorph so they uh the predators could hunt them and that's how the teenage predators earn their stripes you know what i mean that's how they earn their mark and become an adult predator and get that you know confirmation you know the the the, the acceptance i guess from the other ones and it's kind of crazy all the predators were there that entire time just watching and it makes sense because obviously this is like their trial so they got to see if they complete them or not you know but i i don't know i feel like the queen breaking out isn't necessarily part of the normal thing you know what i mean like i feel like maybe they should have stepped in at the end there and save him but i get you know it's kind of maybe to push the agenda for the second movie with the um xenomorph or i guess it's probably not considered a xenomorph whatever this new alien is going to be called uh coming out of the predator at the end there but i just feel so bad man like in any show or movie or whatever whether it's a a human you know or something like the predator an animal or a character i like or a character i hate like even right now for game of thrones spoilers you know if you don't watch game of thrones you haven't seen it spoilers coming up but even in game of thrones with jamie you know i just watched the episode where he got his hand cut off and i'm i've hated him you know season one two and the start of season three i feel bad for him i feel empty i feel sadness you know what i mean like i just i feel like i can connect with characters really easily even if i you know don't like them or if i know they're like a made-up character in a movie i still feel that sadness and empathy for him you know like i don't cry when i watch movies and stuff like that but it definitely does affect me and i feel bad for him and it, it's like at the end they're seeing the predator die after he helped the human and everything like that and he was so close to getting out almost got his stripes and shit just i don't know it makes me mad makes me sad but it is what it is man overall i enjoyed the movie you know i liked it a lot i haven't really heard anything about this movie so i don't know if this movie was well received by the public and critics or what you guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about it and when it came out if it was well received because i always like hearing that stuff you know i love people always tell me don't pay attention to other people's opinions but when i when i talk about it you know i love hearing what other people think about movies whether it's critics or just you guys because it's it's, it's cool for me to compare like okay these people didn't like this movie but i loved it you know what i mean and i just like i, I like to see you know how many people did like it as much as i did or how many people didn't like it you know and i think that stuff is very 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 interesting but um i don't know i just the, the whole wayland situation situation obviously it looked like he died here now in uh prometheus he was kind of like preserved or whatever or frozen whatever that was but i don't know i don't know about that that that, that part is kind of weird because obviously wayland and wayland they should be the same person right i don't know if maybe this is just like this kind of broke the lure or maybe this is just something different there's some like loophole there or if this is just kind of one of those things in the movies that kind of just they changed you know what i mean obviously prometheus was made after this so maybe they didn't uh continue with this kind of storyline because in aliens and all that he was still he was still good you know but 
regardless guys another dope movie in the books we have one last movie in this alien vs predator franchise and one last movie in this alien or predator franchise period we've been on this franchise for shit <sighs> alien movies there was like six of them right something around there five or six predator movies we had four in this we have two we've been on this for a good shit three months it's gonna be sad when we kind of leave this universe and step into a new one you know it'll be cool to step into a new universe new movies and everything like that but it'll be also kind of sad because it's kind of done with you know kind of bittersweet type situation guys but like i said i really fucking enjoyed the movie um again keeping with that same kind of pattern every alien movie and every predator movie you start out with a big group of people you know five to eight people i'd say sometimes more sometimes a little less and then everybody fucking dies <laughs> you're like okay these are the main characters or these two people in the group are the main characters they're safe and they're like nah everybody's dying except for one person i know in predators we had royce and isabel survive uh so that was two people and then in the predator we had a couple people survive too but for the most part they kill essentially everybody that they they, they give us you know what i mean it's like we have this group of people and like most of them are just going to be characters that get killed and it kind of sucks because every movie i think whether it was when i was watching aliens predator or even in this i talk about that but then i'm like maybe this movie will be different maybe these characters will survive maybe these people will not die you know and then they do and it happens every time and i'm just crushed and i'm like why the fuck do i let myself get played like this i just should go into all these movies expecting the characters to die next movie predator uh alien vs predator number two i don't i know that's not the exact title for it but whenever i watch that i'm expecting every single person to die except for one person i'm curious if they're gonna bring back um alexa woods too because it's kind of weird saying alexa because now every time i say alexa i think about you know amazon the alexa yeah yeah but uh it's kind of weird uh i'm curious if she's gonna return because obviously with these alien and predator movies you know alien obviously had a lot of the characters return but in predator i think every movie we had a new cast essentially i don't think we brought back any characters we had obviously in predators they mentioned um dutch from the first predator movie and that was about it so i'm kind of curious if they're gonna bring back her in the next movies and i'm curious how the fuck she got off this place because obviously they said this place is extremely secluded you know we have the helicopter here and shit like that but she's not a pilot so she probably can't fly that shit you know her, she said her dad was and he taught people so maybe she knows a little son and she could get out but i don't know man like i said overall i fucking enjoyed this movie man let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you all did enjoy the video that you just watched. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on Patreon the homie Supernova, the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Dude Tim, and the homie Silas Kane. Shout out to you guys for supporting me at my highest tier over on Patreon, guys. Link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below to get access to a bunch of cool things such as early access, full length reaction, polls, and tons of other stuff, man. Appreciate all you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.